Hi, in this video, I want to show one of the great features of the Hob SSA extension for AutoCAD Civil 3D. Uh, the fact that if you're working on multi phase projects or you're updating the data in whole base, how quickly you can merge those changes through into your current model work you've done in AutoCAD Civil 3D and it maintains all the previous edits. So, for instance, in this example, you recall from the multi lens example we created a whole series of lenses of clay you can see here in the profile etc all this information so we spent time modeling this data what happens we then have a whole new set of data sent through to us well let's go back into whole base and here we have our, our boreholes being shown here perhaps we could go in here and edit the actual positions of a borehole we could alter the field geology descriptions etc the whole host of different changes we may want to make or perhaps we have phase two let's go and do that in this case we'll go and we'll import a ags4 file and we'll call this and there it is phase two nicely named for us and we'll merge this data into our current drawing. So this could be updating existing holes, or in this particular case, it's bringing in new borehole locations. So we hit next on that one, hit finished, and we should see our grids replaced, and you can see we have these uh, phase B boreholes being shown down here. So we now go back into AutoCAD Civil. All we have to do is click the update button and as we've already logged in in this session we can see all the changes it's going to make now look at this it's going to happen really quickly so it's going to pull that data through from whole base into my current drawing and there it's done how about that so you can see all the new boreholes being pulled through the alignment all being stretched over, the surfaces, but also notice that all of our previous changes have all been kept. Now you'll notice if we come up here, let's just zoom in a little bit closer, and we'll pick our alignment line we had before, let's just move it. You can see it's all updating, all being pulled through as we actually move our alignment around. So it's all maintaining. Now you notice up here, we actually have another lens of clay being shown up here. So we may still want to model the data and put new changes. In fact, let's do that now. So I believe that's this ball hole here. Let me just go into my location manager and you'll see that we have our extra ball holes being listed down here. Let's just pull up the uh, strips for them. And uh, yep. We can see here that we have a borehole with clay in. So all we have to do is the same as before. I'll just do it the same method. If you remember, we just go and we'll draw a polyline around what we think is the extent of the clay. This could obviously be a continuation, like a finger of a clay, joining the two boreholes up. I'm just doing this as a, a simple lens. So we just draw that line. We'll go to feature line, create a feature line from an object, and the polyline we just drawn this is going to be sat underneath my made ground base that surfaced just there so we'll come through here that's a gravel base now let's do it under made ground base there we go on that site remember we put feature lines on separate sites so that they don't clash with each other and the important thing is I want to assign it so I'm going to assign it to that made ground base surface okay so now we have a circle around there looks like i've uh, my feature lines disappeared so what i'm going to do is uh, i think i've got it the layer turned off so let me just go to feature lines visibility and make sure they're all turned on there we go there's my feature line so we just do as we normally do now we go in and we'll add that as a break line to all of our surfaces so let's start from the uh, the green which is gravel so that's gravel top let's add it to that one and you'll see that all our existing model work is now being updated with the new changes as we go through this process so we'll go now to a uh, clay base we'll do the same with that okay this is interesting can you see now that we've got a few little problems occur uh, where we've created boundaries using hiding shows, we need to come back and correct that 
in a moment. We'll carry on through this and we'll do clay top. And now we can see the profile, at least it looks correct, okay, in the profile. And we'll finish this off by going uh, make ground base. So almost done. We just have this weird thing going on with our surfaces here. But what we want to do now is just do that. It's just the same problems we had before. We just need to add these as show boundaries. But also you notice that with something slightly out of sync here. So what we'll do first of all is just correct the out of sync thing. I'm just going to go here and just turn off a few layers so we can see what we're doing. Let's just go down and work on our clay layer. So what's actually happened is as we added this new extents in, the boundaries have got themselves a bit confused. So if I just click on that surface and go, and we'll go into the surface properties and you see go to definitions, I find that actually it may well work by just regenerating, rebuilding the surface, but I quite often find if I just move that break line, I've just added up with the other break line. So the boundary work is afterwards and hit apply update the surface and there we are so th the problem is now of course is that the new bit of surface we got is hidden and that's because remember we just got to make this boundary now into a show boundary so all we do is go down here go boundaries let's give it a name called show 2 let's call this make sure it is a show boundary hit ok and pick that and if by magic in comes that surface so that's the top one done we just have to repeat the same process now for the base of it let's turn off the top so you see again we've it's gone slightly got itself confused when we added the new boundary so we just go back into the properties again back into our definitions just move that one up a bit and hit ok to that rebuild the surface and we are so all we have to do now is just add that boundary again as a show and there it's added so as you can see in a matter of seconds or a couple of minutes at least we have modeled in pulled in we have this dynamic 3d model that you can see around here with our data in we have the dynamic profiles so as we pull our profile, reposition it, it's being updated. So we kept all the previous changes that we've done in our in our model and we dynamically pulled in our new data from whole base phase two, which is all integrated in the merge. Makes life so much quicker to update and change. Uh hope you really enjoy this video and can make full use of whole base and the whole base SI extension for Civil 3D. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions or ideas for new videos, please let me know by using the comment box below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for access to more training videos as we add them. For more information on how Kinetics can help you, please visit our website, email us or call. Thank you for watching.